Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Where the First Lady Melania Trump is concerned, theories abound. From morning show hosts to Twitter pundits to protest poster artists, everyone has an opinion. Miss Trump is a prisoner in her own home. Miss Trump rules the roost. Miss Trump is complex, clueless, estranged from her husband, advises her husband, loves Washington, hates Washington, just wants to be left alone. If the current administration is a Rorschach test, the First Lady is a splash of ink across the White House. A member of the White House press corps focused on the First Lady and the Trump family, the CNN reporter Kate Bennett may be uniquely qualified to weigh in. Now she shares her own theories in an authorized biography, Free Melania, which comes out this week. The book does not include an explanation of the comma in its title, nor any discussion of the Trump's 13-year-old son, Barron, except as a factor in his mother's decision-making. In an author's note, Bennett writes, I don't believe being born to public figures should render a child fair game for public scrutiny. But Free Melania does provide insight into the First Lady's life, opinions, and relationships. She is well liked by her staffers, with Bennett describing the East Wing as the White House tightest ship. Where are six of Bennett's revelations? There are no coincidences when it comes to the First Lady's clothing. This includes outer wear. Having covered her for as long as I have, each thing she does has meaning to it, even the clothing she wears, Bennett writes. First, there was the pink pussy blow blouse Miss Trump wore at an October 2016 debate after the release of the Access Hollywood tape, where her husband bragged about grabbing women's genitals. Then there was the white pantsuit at the 2018 State of the Union. Brandt writes, I have a theory that when the Trumps are unhappy with each other, Melania wears menswear because Trump notoriously likes to see women in tight, short, upper sexy and feminine dresses and the eye-catching millinery, the colonial-style pit helmet in Nairobi, the white hat in England. But no single item of clothing has inspired more discussion than the $39 Army Green Zara parka Miss Trump wore on a June 2018 trip to the border. The one with the words, I really don't care, do you, printed on the back. There have been many takes, but Bennett's is that it was directed in the president's daughter Ivanka. I believed, and still do, that the jacket was a facetious jab at Ivanka and her near-constant attempts to attach herself for positive administration taking points, Bennett writes. About that relationship with Ivanka, cordial not close is how it was described to Bennett by someone who has spent ample time with both women. Bennett takes issue with the way, early on in the administration, Miss Trump was labeled by the media as a vapid model trophy wife, while Ivanka got to be a savvy career mom. Bennett writes that Ivanka's international travel rankles her stepmother. The trips were, according to a source, too close for comfort for Melania, who thought Ivanka was invading her turf. Be best isn't really a thing. Miss Trump unveiled her child focused kindness campaign, Be Best, over a year ago. Here is Bennett's assessment of the First Lady's signature initiative. To this date, has no publicly stated framework, timeline, or markers for progress. The likelihood that it will ever have the impact of Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign or Nancy Reagan's Just Say No is slim to none. Ms. Trump's hospital stay was no joke. According to a trusted source, Bennett writes, Melania's medical issue was indeed not minor, and that an embolization of a growth of some sort, small or large, when attached to the kidney, as hers might have been, made for a dangerous and complicated procedure. Bennett adds, couple that with the amount of pain she had apparently been in, according to close friends, and how long she had been in pain prior to the surgery, and there was concern that if her recuperation was not careful and extended, her type of condition could possibly result in the loss of her kidney. Ms. Trump and Karen Pence are not close. At one point, Bennett was sitting in the back section of a C-32 military jet that Ms. Trump and Karen Pence, Vice President Mike Pence's wife, were also taking. From that vantage, Bennett remembers watching someone who looked a lot like current Pence moving from the section ahead of ours, typically where eight and advanced team sits, and head towards the back lavatory. Miss Trump did not bring Miss Pence into her spacious cabin, nor did she remove her four-inch heels when the two landed in Texas. 
As a result, the first lady towered almost comically over the second lady. Miss Trump usually wears a low heel or flat when walking or being photographed with someone of modest stature. The first lady has a room of her own at the White House. While the president sleeps in the master bedroom on the second level of the White House residence, he requested a lock for his door. Miss Trump stays on the third floor in the two-room space formerly occupied by Michelle Obama's mother, Marion Robinson Bennett reports. Miss Trump also has a glam room where she does her hair and makeup and a private gym with a Pilates machine. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.